All right. Good evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday night, November 25th, 2025 is the date. Uh, 1026 local time here in the PM out uh, here in California. Latest activity shows a 2.5 earthquake across the uh, South America area. I was watching a pretty good swarm of activity here around the Nankai Trough earlier. Still looks like uh, we definitely need to be on watch around this region. I'm noticing some deeper earthquake activity there into the Izu Trench. Pretty deep earthquake. That's going to be that 4.2, uh, 413 kilometers deep. That uh, is 256 miles deep there. We've seen a, a number of deeper quakes here in the area. I believe that's adding further stress and strain out there. Uh, across the Nankai Trough, where we had a uh, a decent swarm of events out there, uh, mainly it looks like backside there of Section A of the Nankai Trough. So pretty active out here. Uh, Got to keep an eye on the uh, Nankai Trough, obviously for some uh, mega quake potential. Uh, looking in here on California, let's go see what's going on out here across the West Coast. Um, still got a pretty good cluster out here around the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. And also it looks like maybe some movement there on the Santa Cruz Mountain section. Got uh, two earthquakes coming in there in the last hour. The Bay Area, not a whole lot going on there for now. Just a couple of small scattered microquakes out there. Uh, same for Southern California as well. It's looking, it's looking like it's, uh, well, I can't say it's very quiet. You have to zoom in here to these little areas and see that there's actually clusters of quakes going on. This is around the uh, Johannesburg area. Got 21 earthquakes here uh, in the last 24 hours, but I believe we've had quite a bit more here in the last couple days. Now, if we were to go back the last several months and even last year, this has been a very interesting area of uh, earthquakes warming around the Garlock Fault shear zone with no big earthquake. Uh, but it's definitely uh, interesting there. No major earthquake activity across Southern California for now. There's a little one pointer in the Los Angeles area. Uh, Cascadia subduction zone, pretty quiet there across the southern end. Uh, I guess we'll double check the um, trimmer map here this evening, the slow slip event map. Whichever you prefer to call it, uh, we got 241 epicenters. That's a pretty decent uptick down there across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's uh, definitely up from yesterday. Uh, keep an eye on that. Nothing showing up as far as earthquake activity, but remember when the tremor counts are elevated down below the locked area into that subduction zone, you can bet that the strain is building out there, uh, increasing, further tightening and uh, uplifting this land out here, kind of acting as a, I can't say a spring. Um, I'm trying to think of something. It's too late to think of something right now, but uh, anyway, it's definitely building up uh, some pressure out there couple smaller quakes outside of Seattle. Nothing uh, big going on there. Yellowstone National Park looks like they went ahead and added some of those quakes there I was talking about this morning. A couple, well, they're all below 2.0. The largest looks to be a 1.7, so nothing big going on there for now. That's at uh, Yellowstone. And as you can see here, the rest of the country, one earthquake in the New Madrid zone this morning and uh, this earthquake this morning in the... Uh, Kingston, New Hampshire area, little 1.8. Um, Hawaii out there, the eruption popped earlier this afternoon. I guess we better go see what's going on. We'll go check that out here real quick um, at the Kilauea volcano site. I don't know, it may be over by now. These <laughs> eruptions don't last for too long. Uh, I'm going to go up here and check out the webcam real quick and see if it's still putting on a show out here. That's a pretty decent fountaining going on as well uh, from the ongoing eruption, episode number 37. And, yeah, it's still going. Look at that beautiful view. Look at that lava flow there in the night. That's absolutely stunning. Um, but this should come to an end here uh, pretty soon. But absolutely spectacular. Let's go see what we got for the deformation data. That will give us a good idea of uh, how much has been depleted from the area below. Look at that. Zhoo, dropped off like a like a rock. 
this year looks like uh, maybe we'll have a couple more hours or so of the eruption, but it should be over by morning. I don't see it going any longer than that. It just it's been a rinse and repeat cycle out there of 37 eruptions since December of last year. We're coming up on a year that this has just been an ongoing ordeal. Pretty crazy, uh, but also at the same time, pretty neat to see. Alrighty, let's take a look here at the Earthquake 3D Globe. So deeper activity back across the Izu Trench. Pretty good cluster going on around the Philippines area southward. Look at the Java Trench out here. Just a train of earthquakes. Nothing big, but it's pretty active out there. I'd say a little bit more so than normal. 4.3, ooh, where's that? Around the Paul area, it looks like. Right here across the plate boundary. Um... Probably within the Himalayas there is what it looks like. USGS not picking up on that earthquake yet, but getting a little decent cluster there. Uh, let's see. New Zealand pretty quiet. Some deep and then shallow adjustment here across the Tonga Trench. Uh, it's just an ongoing thing. But look at this. Two deep earthquakes. Definitely some deeper activity stirring up out here across the planet. Uh, the Mediterranean region... The typical daily swarms there across Turkey area just seems to uh, come and go. Kind of a moderate level of swarming right now around the Turkey area and just a couple other smaller quakes in the uh, region. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet there. Not a whole lot happening. Um, it was that five-pointer in Alaska this morning, but uh, really no new quake activity to report out there. Just... I don't see anything out here in the last hour. 2.5 map and above. Does still show uh, some of that earthquake activity up around the Anchorage area. It's been pretty active out here. I've mentioned a number of times to watch the uh, Gulf of Alaska here, this portion of the Aleutian Trench, for some larger movement just because of the way things have been pretty busy up there uh, in that area of Alaska. But uh, so far, no big earthquake activity. Uh, the wind speed... In terms of solar wind, imagine if we had that wind at the surface. Yeah, that would not be good. Um, that uh, is a decent amount of high-speed solar wind stream. Aurora activity somewhat happening out there. Let's take a look at the data. Um, yeah, we're still remaining elevated. Getting a little bit of closure here with a uh, couple runtime dots here which in within the... Uh, uh, positive territory which would suppress the aurora so I don't see any wide opening out here that would tell me that we're gonna see you know an, an excellent sh aurora show tonight it's possible it could happen uh, but most likely not just a, a chance out there of seeing some aurora activity across the higher latitudes uh, tonight and tomorrow night as well uh, as far, far as any flaring activity goes there's not a whole lot got some B flare and C flare activity but this is very minimal Here's those coronal holes here that were facing the planet, and that's the, uh, uh, well, we're getting the uh, the high-speed solar wind stream from both of these coronal holes currently. Uh, this did not pick up any earthquake activity, though. We, that's one for the books there that I marked down. Didn't see any major uptick there while those were facing the planet. Uh, not a whole lot in terms of, uh, you know, these uh, sunspots out here. Just looks like this one's still minor complexity here within one of the areas of that sunspot but ev everything else out there looks pretty quiet folks not a whole lot happening there on the sun in terms of uh, any major sunspot activity so for now 15 percent chance there for m flare x flare around one percent taking a quick glance at the severe weather side of things at the surface not a whole lot going on there over the next couple days I know we got a uh, pretty big pattern change with a lot of cold air coming down there from uh, Canada. Show you guys the uh, temperature anomaly map. Of course, blue and purple going to be some of the coldest departures from normal. Uh, the red over here and orange going to be uh, above average. Although I can't say this is accurate because this is regional temperatures. But we're experiencing here in the Sacramento Valley and, and more so down in the San Joaquin Valley of heavy-duty fog. 
that's been limiting our daytime highs. So even though the show's above normal temperatures out here, it is not happening here in the Sacramento or the San Joaquin Valley due to that thick fog. Uh, and I do that, expect that to continue here for the next few days, even through Thanksgiving. Uh, areas in the mountains where there is no fog, yeah, it'll be actually quite nice. It'll be warmer than the valley in the mountains. Um, warmer in the mountains uh, than it is the valley. Uh, but yeah, look at that, all that cold air coming down there across the uh, eastern portion of the country. And then we get another change of things. And it's just kind of a... Ah, man, I do not like that pattern out there. It almost looks like a dominant high-pressure ridge. I want to check down the road here a little bit. Right now we got that high-pressure parked over us. It just it won't go away. It's just sitting there. I hope it does, though, because I'm not a fan of dry winters out here in California. Huh, not a drop of rain for Northern California. Southern California going to get in on some moisture, but I, I do not like that pattern. Not one bit. Hopefully that changes there. We may have to go outside and start doing some rain dances here. Alrighty, um, I think that's about it, folks. Just going to keep it short and simple out there. Seismograph stations look pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot happening on them for now. Um, an earthquake activity, I could say it's Kind of a, not even, I can't even say a moderate day of earthquake activity. The largest event here was at 2 o'clock in the morning, that 5.4 in the Philippines area. Uh, it's a minor to moderate day. Not a whole lot of large movement here in the last few days. You know, we've had massive solar storms hitting the planet. A number of coronal holes with their magnetic lines shooting right at, right at us. And there's really been uh, no noteworthy notable effect of of uptick in terms of earthquake activity out here just i don't see it I'm pretty quiet out here for now but you never know that could change have a good one stay safe out there enjoy the rest of your tuesday night we'll see you guys out here for the wednesday morning update